guys, so today we're going to be talking about crochet hooks. And I, I noticed on a lot of my videos that I would post about clover hooks and how much I love clover hooks, people kept mentioning in the comments tulip etimo hooks. And people were recommending that they were a little bit cheaper than clover hooks, but they were really great quality and also very similar to clover hooks. So because I'm a crocheter, I knew that I had to try these hooks because I wanted to figure out if I would like them better than clover hooks. So I was on a mission. I bought a single tulip hook. So I bought a single Atimo tulip hook so I could try it out before I bought a set because I was just a little nervous buying a set of crochet hooks just in case if I did not like them. I wanted to try out a single one to see if I would even consider buying a set. So I just bought this one and this is a four millimeter and it's a size G or over I believe this is a Japanese brand and it's a seven for them it's a G for us but it's all the same a four millimeter and I got the red one because that was kind of the cheapest one I'm not gonna lie because I was like I don't really want to spend a lot if it's not very good so this is what it looks like so it's just a very basic crochet hook it's all red little it says tulip on here and then it says what size it is and it's also engraved tulip is engraved on the back and then it says japan on it and i whenever i first got it i have to say the first thing i noticed is how smooth the metal portion of it is it's just a very 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 smooth and just kind of it looked very similar to a clover hook so since this is a size G or a 4mm, I was currently working on Johnny's cat couch. So I switched out from my clover to the tulip atima one and decided to use this for the remainder pieces. And I have to say, I really, really like this crochet hook. My hand never hurts whenever I use this crochet hook. Now with clover, I don't really notice my hand hurts with clover either, but sometimes you know you just are kind of like, oh, I'm just kind of done working on it. If it wasn't for my brain being tired of crocheting, I think I could crochet forever with this crochet hook. My hand never hurts, it's always extremely comfortable, which I do have the same effect with clover hooks too. Um, I'm not saying my hand gets tired with clover, but they're very similar. I just kind of feel like my hand rests a little bit better with the Atimo hooks. So I brought my little clover set with me so I could kind of show you. There's like the smallest difference with these crochet hooks. There's really not a big difference. They are the, I think the clover one is maybe like a, like a hair length, maybe like it's a smidge taller than the Atima one. It's just a tiny bit taller and the metal part is shorter than the Atima one. The Atima one's a little bit longer. The biggest difference is this one is more square and flat where this one is more rounded and as you can see it's very very flat with the Atima one super flat and then with the clover one it's a little bit more bumpy looking it's just a little bit more um, curved rather than being so flat as the Atima one. They are so similar though. <laughs> like there's not a ton of difference. Like that is the biggest difference. This one's a little bit more flat and a little bit more square. This one's a little bit more rounded and it's not as flat. It definitely has a little bit of a bump just where you put your thumb at. And so they're very similar in that way and there's not a huge difference. They're both really, really comfortable. The metal part, they're both extremely smooth. Now I have had my clover set for I think about three years, maybe four years. So of course the tulip one does feel a little bit smoother. I don't know if that's just because I have used my clover hooks a lot. So having yarn constantly rub against it could wear it down a little bit. But the tulip one does feel a little bit smoother than even the clover ones. But they're so similar. They're really good quality. The Clover set is about $75, I believe. It's around that area, depending on where you buy it. The Tulip one, depending on which one you buy, it ranges from about $55 to over $100. So let me show you the two, the two Tulip sets that I have in my household. So the first one my sister bought, and she, um, it's just kind of, this is the one you can find on Amazon. 
It's the black set and it's black and gold. So it comes with a super, super cute case. It's a gray case and it just unrolls. You get a ruler, you get a couple of needles and then you get a pair of scissors and then here are the actual hooks you get. And she's actually borrowing one right now. I'm buying these from her so then I have a set too because so, she does not need two sets so um, I'm going to um, this is my set now even though she's borrowing some it makes sense so, and so I have um, from D all the way to J or a 3.25 millimeter to a 6 millimeter so that is the range I have, and I believe this one was about $55, and it's just a really cute case. I'll, I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of them because I do like them. They're really good hooks, but I also, I don't, it's not like I hate the clover or anything. I just think these are probably a, maybe a little bit different since I've been just using the clover for so long. Maybe it's kind of nice to use something a little bit different. So this is the set you can find on Amazon, and then another set, which this is my mom's set that she just got, she got the pink set. So it comes in a very cute case. This one is over $100. I believe it's $107. But it comes with a super pretty pink case. A little tassel. You unzip it. And then here is the set. So it's super, super pretty. Um, it has a range of pinks for the hooks. And you also get this one. You actually get a two millimeter up to a six millimeter so you get um a few extra hooks um like all the small ones you get where you don't get that with this set but yeah they're super pretty i love how it's kind of an ombre effect with the hooks i just think they're really pretty and then it also comes with a pair of scissors and um some yarn needles and then it has like this cute little case that is attached to it and this one does not come with a ruler though if that's a factor for you so these are the two sets as you can tell they are very different um, especially in price so you do get a nicer case but you are spending a lot more where this one is just a rolled case and it's just kind of a basic case but you still get a lot of cute things I do like how there's a zipper on the side so you could stick things in here and just have it with you always you wouldn't need to have an extra pouch where you'd carry your scissors you could probably even fit a tape measure in here because the ruler could really only help you with a gauge swatch. It would not be able to help you measure out like anything bigger than that. But it still is a really good quality case and I do like what it has um, to offer. So I do like both of these. They're like I haven't used my mom's set but I do think it is pretty um, besides the actual pink colors. It The other big difference is, are these are silver while these are gold. I don't mind gold my mom hates gold so this is definitely up her speed and she loves pink so this is like my mom's ultimate like set of crochet hooks but yes so those are kind of like the different sets you can get and so as you can probably tell I do love these hooks I think they're really good quality they are kind of less expensive depending on what um depending on what set you buy on if it's going to be cheaper than clover or not the nice thing about clover is you can find them at joann's and joann's always has coupons also michael's does too so you could always get them like you know 20 percent off i ended up getting my set 50 percent off because joann's had a coupon that they were that was going around and it was 50 percent off any regular price item so i literally went back in and bought the clover set for 50 percent off which was an amazing deal, but that not is not always the case. But I do like the Clover set. I think both of the sets are awesome. I would re I'm going to use both sets. I'm not going to quit using my Clover ones and only use the Tulip ones. I'm going to keep using both of them. I think they're both awesome. They both don't hurt my hand. And I do have to say, I think the more I use these, the more I realize I do like shorter crochet hooks. They just work the best for me. Now, some people, they do not like short crochet hooks. I'd rather have longer ones. I have tried a couple different longer ones and I don't know if it's just because I started with boy hooks because sometimes I feel like that's a huge factor on what type of crochet hook you start with but I started with boy hooks and those are also very short so I think I'm just used to holding a shorter crochet hook not that I don't like longer crochet hooks because there are a few that I do like and they are very comfortable for me but I just think I tend to gravitate more towards shorter crochet hooks 
but yes so I just want to kind of come on here and just share my thoughts on I really do love these crochet hooks I think they're really awesome I think it's kind of nice to have a different variety out there that's a really good quality set so you don't have to just depend on clover for a really good set that is like this that's a little that's not 100% metal because the boy hooks are also really good you can buy those in sets but I think if you're wanting maybe to take it up one level clover is definitely a great option and so are the tulip ones just depending on what you're looking for and also how much you're willing to spend on this set but I do love both I think they're both awesome they are a little bit different if you're not really sure which one you would like more and you are like man I want to buy one set but I'm not sure if I'd like the tulip or the clover I would definitely recommend buying one hook of each maybe the same size maybe a different size and use them and see which ones are most comfortable for you and that you want to invest in a set for that is my highest recommendation for any crochet hook is don't buy a set until you try one because what if you hate the set and you spent a lot of money on it and I would just be disappointed especially if it's not used because when you buy crochet hooks you want them to be used you don't want to just buy them and for them to sit and not be used you want to use them especially if you're going to spend quite a bit of money on them so that's what I recommend is if you're not sure which one you want to try just try one of each and then use them for a little bit and see which one you like more and then invest in the set. Anyway guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful and let me know down in the comments below. Are you team tulip or are you team clover or are you team both like me? I love both of them. I think they're great. Or what is your favorite crochet hook? I would love to know so definitely let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!